you. Hello. Hi. Can I have a ask a few questions about Christmas Day? Of course you can. Cool. So what's your typical Christmas day? Give us a bit of a schedule. Um, normally, my typical Christmas day when I'm with my family has always been the same routine since I can remember. It was to wake up at my house with my parents and now my little brother. And then I would open my presents for Father Christmas. And then I would ring both sets of grandparents. Then we'd go over to my one set of grandparents' house and see what Father Christmas had dropped there as well. And then we'd all be together and we'd give any presents we'd bought. Thank you, Barney. Come back for lunch, have a lovely lunch with all our fam my like immediate family, and then my other grandparents would come down early. Father Christmas would bring even more, and then uh, in the night everyone comes back together, and then we just end up playing games. And me and my dad would do quizzes for the family. This year may not be as similar because obviously I'm here in Bromley, um, so this year is my first Christmas with my boyfriend in London. So we'll have to set our own tradition this year. But I'll be still calling my parents probably every ten minutes and seeing what Father Christmas has bought them. <laughs> oh, lovely! So, what's your favourite Christmas song? I think my favourite Christmas song. What was the first pantomime you ever saw? Is... I've got two, can I have two? Yeah, of course so you can have two. It would be... Um, so here it is, Merry Christmas. Brilliant. Um, because whenever that's on, I get really excited. <laughs> um, but then, as a kind of kind of in my years of loving people like Whitney Houston and Mariah Carey I love all I want for Christmas is you um, for Mariah Carey just you pick my two favourites there yeah so those two if I hear those and I could love to sing them all the time that's why I love Christmas oh great stuff so a bit of a naughty question okay. who was your first kiss under the mistletoe do you know what I don't know I if we're to go really young I did have a, high, a primary school boyfriend um, called Gary and he probably kissed my cheek under the mistletoe. And I used to, <laughs> he used to buy me all the Love Is things, which isn't around anymore. So like we've got like, me two bears now. Love Is was this little couple. So Google it. Little couple. He's got dark hair, and it would always be Love Is given a chocolate or Love Is this. Um, and he, and I used to go and give him a ring I found, and tell him in a minute, come and give it to me, and say you've bought me a ring. <laughs> so, and he would, and everyone would be like. <gasps> It's like, it's okay, he has it more, it's mine. But um, that was probably my first kiss under the mistletoe in primary school. Oh, lovely. On my cheek, on my cheek. Um, yeah. Um, so when it comes to Christmas dinner, mm -hmm. what's your highlight on the plate? Do you know what? I love Christmas dinner because I, I don't. I, I, we normally have turkey and don't normally have turkey really in a in a lunch in a roast. Uh, so I like parsnips and I'm probably am one of the only people that likes Brussels. Oh, Brussels sprouts are amazing. People always go, oh, the kids go, oh, but I love it. So probably the parsnips, Brussels sprouts, and uh, sausages wrapped in bacon. Oh, you don't pigs and blankets. That kind of, and that's kind of that's the nice thing about Christmas is doing the one thing that you probably don't is making it that one. Year. But one year at Christmas, I have got a funny story to tell about Sunday lunch. Oh yeah. Um, we my, we had big Sunday lunch. I think it was Sunday lunch. For Christmas lunch, and we were all there sitting on the table, and uh, we were about to. We all had our hats on, and my dad said, "Give me five." And I went, mm, and I hadn't realised that it was above my dinner, and he moved his hand, and I put my hand right by dinner. It's my dad all over. Give me five, and I went, mm, and I went, Dad. Oh no. Oh, yeah. Happy Christmas. There's the food. <laughs> So, what would you say is the best present you've ever received for Christmas? That's really hard. I don't... <laughs> probably the sentimental value. Um, <laughs> uh, every, every Christmas I used to tell my grandparents what I'd like them slash Father Christmas to bring. And um, I rang my nanny Lark with um, a request from my auntie and I said, I've seen this really good multi-tool set in, that sounds ridiculous, but in, in uh, the Argos Council. Multi-tool set being it was like a scissors and a ruler and a protector had it all in this thing. So Christmas Day comes, Father Christmas brings my present from my auntie, I open it up. <laughs> And it's a mini pool set. <laughs> my nan had missed her. And I had this mini little pool set with little balls. And I was like, oh, okay. Okay. And she went, yeah, that's what you asked for. And there, forever, it's been the multi tool set, mini pool set that has just brought our family down. So that probably has to be the best present I've received just for sheer entertainment. Oh, <laughs> lovely. So, aside from a mini pool kit, what do you think will be in your stocking this year? Oh, I don't know. 
Last year, Father Christmas got me driving lessons for my birthday as well, um, because I'm trying to learn to drive. Um, watch out, London roads. Um, but um, I don't know. I don't know what I like, really. I think... Mm, 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 I was to think of something. I know what you like. <gasps> you like Barney Harwood, who's playing Muddles this year, who's your best, <laughs> best friend. And best friend. we're going to share cakes together. <gasps> Food. But I'm going to bake. See, we're doing a bake-off this year. And so I'm learning <laughs> to bake at the moment. So I'm, I'm going to make you cakes. Oh, that's that. Although that will be what will be in my stocking this year, your cakes. Yeah. Yeah. All right, thank you. Thanks. <laughs> Lovely. Well, come to Panto. Brilliant. Well, thanks very much, Sarah. And we look forward to seeing you in Snow White. Can't wait. Come and see us. See Brilliant. Panto. Thanks. Bye. <laughs>